Hello and welcome to my channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you've been here before. In this video, as I promised, I'm going to show you how I made homemade stockings for my family. Now, as you'll see, when you make this stocking, the first thing I had to do was print off the pattern and I had to cut that out and tape it together, which was a real simple process. Then I laid the fabric out, one layer of fabric on top of the other, so one layer is the lining and the other layer is the outer fabric. And I just laid the pattern out on that and I trace around it. Now when I'm done tracing around it, I take the pattern off and I put pins in it because I use pins. You can also use quilters clips, but I prefer pins. And I pin it down. After that, I cut the pattern out. And you could freehand the, um, the hanging loop because she gives you the dimensions and the pattern that I used on um, what size you need to make for the loop, but I actually emailed her and asked her if she could make me out one because I didn't want to try freehanding it because I wasn't confident that I could really come up with a perfect straight template for it. So she was very sweet and made sure to make and send that to me. So after cutting everything out, you are going to sew the loop. Once you're done sewing the loop, you will turn it right side out, which can take a little while because it's kind of small. Now, after you've sewn the loop, you take the stockings and you lay them out. I chose to lay them out on my floor just because I had more working space there. And so you're going to lay them so that you have the outside fabric on top of the inside fabric and facing each other. And all this is done with a quarter inch seam. So I laid those on top of each other and I sewed across the top of each one of them. And once I had that done, in her instructions she says to iron them open. Um, I just did a sort of a press open, which it's a kind of you know pressing that you can do is just basically use your thumb and run it across the seam to iron it open. And then once you have those completely flattened, you lay one pattern on top of the other and you measure down three inches from that seam and that's where you're going to want to stick the loop. So basically what you'll do is you'll take the loop and you'll lay it on the back side of the stocking on the inner fabric and you'll have it angled up towards the top where the seam is. So that way when it's sewn and flipped inside out it'll be aiming up. And so you just lay that in there and then you pin everything down and you're going to want to leave a little gap. The pattern says to leave about four inches but I found it fine to work with two or three inches but you'll pin the entire stocking closed minus a gap to leave open to turn the stocking inside out. And at that point, you're gonna sew around the entire perimeter of the stocking, leaving, it's a quarter inch seam allowance. So you're gonna leave a quarter inch, and then when you get to the end there, you're gonna wanna leave, according to the pattern instruction, she says four inches, I did just fine with the two to three inch hole. Once you're done with that, you're gonna turn the entire stocking right side out through that hole. And once you get it all done, you're gonna flatten the part where that seam opening is, the hole, where you just pulled everything out. You're gonna flatten that down so it's perfectly flat and the layers that should be are tucked inside. And you're gonna to top stitch over that to close it. And once that's closed, you tuck the inside fabric down into the outside fabric and stuff it down there so it fills out the entire bottom of the sock. And then you will just fold over the top flap and that pops the little loop out that you could hang the stocking up by and shows the inner fabric, which turns out really adorable. And there you have it, a completely finished stocking that you can hang up and it's homemade. Now I did two before my husband decided that he liked the idea of having them embroidered, so I had to go back and make more stockings and embroider them. But it was a really simple, easy process to make these stockings. The pattern's very easy, and I'll in fact link it in case you want to go download it and make stockings yourself. I used flannel but you can use pretty much whatever fabric you want to. So this is the final product and it turned out really great and I hope you consider giving a try to making your own custom personalized stockings homemade. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.